Basically, what is happening here as we read in the first five verses? The rich were taking advantage of the poor. And just when Nehemiah thought that everything would be smooth sailing, that maybe the worst was behind them, and now now the Lord was just going to make the way clear and plain, and the work would just press forward with greater energy, a fresh new issue came up. And you know, friends, we got to expect that when we're working in the Lord's vineyard, there's going to be problems. We got to expect that. Don't think that just because you're working for the Lord, that He will just smooth the way over without any extra effort on your behalf at all. No, friends, it's going to require courage. It's going to require faith. It's going to require a whole lot of extra effort just to make sure that peace is maintained as well. So we see that the rich there are beginning, not beginning, they have already taken advantage of the poor. So let's continue, shall we? Nehemiah chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. And I, Nehemiah, was very angry when I heard their cry and these words. Then I consulted with myself, and I rebuked the nobles and the rulers, and said unto them, Ye exact usury, every one of his brother. And I set a great assembly against them. Nehemiah was not happy to hear that. He was angry and he called forth the, the rulers and the nobles and he rebuked them. He stepped up straight away to deal with this situation and he was not afraid. He called those that were affluent, those that were men of wealth, that were giving their time and their means for the work of even just building and rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Nehemiah was not afraid to step on their toes, to offend them to get them upset, even though he needed their influence and their affluence to finish this work here. He was not happy with the situation. And so he called them forward and he sharply rebuked them for their wicked course and their wicked action. You know, friends, we can't be afraid to speak up for the truth and for that which is right and for those that don't have a voice and against those that are walking down the wrong path, especially against those that have influence and have means and money. Too often in our churches, we revere those that have money. And usually those that have money have a loud voice as well. And that's what got them into their position of influence and affluence at the very beginning. But we can't be afraid to speak the truth. Why? Because look, friends, we are all human. We are all human. We will always make mistakes. No person out there is 100% right. That person has already lived. His name was Jesus. But there is no other person here on this earth that has it 100% correct. I, I don't care how successful a business you run. It doesn't matter how much money you have. You've made some right decisions in your life that have gotten you your influence and especially your wealth. But along the way, there were lots of failures as well. And so just because rich people are in the church, it does not mean that they're always right, that they're always correct. And so friends, if we are to do the work of God in the church, it requires courage. It requires a backbone. It requires for you to have a strong foundation to be able to speak up against injustice. And even when we're going down the wrong path, that you're willing to stand up for the truth in spite of the possible consequences that it might cause.